Nate Doherty. Nate, I see Shamrock Wrestling Club on your shirt. It's the first time I've seen Shamrock Wrestling Club on your shirt. It's, it's odd to me. You were the Walsh North Akron Warriors forever. Yeah. From a little kid, right? Yeah, yeah since the uh, 90s, early 90s. Early 90s, you're a state champ for Walsh, but now there's been some structure changes with what's going on with the North Akron and Walsh. You're, you're Shamrock now. You're over at St. V. Uh, first off, what's the change been like for you? It was different at first, you know, you spend uh, 25 years dedicated to, uh, you know, one school, one sport, and, uh, you know, there's some changes that are made, and, um, and we were lucky enough that Harry was coming back and came over head coach at uh, St. V. Uh, they welcomed us over there with open arms, uh, and it's been great so far. Um, you know, it's a good room, tough room. Uh, I got some good uh, middle school kids coming up, too, as well. So your son, Alex, he's in it. Yeah, he's Alex with, and, and that had to be weird for you, too, because... I know the plan, you know, all the way through has been Alex was going to go to Walsh, and now we had to pivot a little bit. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, life changes, so I uh, just got to roll with it. Um, we're just, right now we're just focused on, uh, obviously, get them better wrestling, education, and then we'll see where it goes. But, uh, you know, Harry's going to be there, and if things keep going the way you are, yeah, I'd probably end up being the same piece. You look at the tradition of just the Akron, Northeast Ohio, Cleveland, Canton area, it's nails. You came up through that culture. You're on one of the all-time great Walsh teams. Um, how do you guys translate that over and just go a little south with that? How do you do that? How, how do you, you know, at the youth level, you, you knew what you were brought up in, man. Yeah. How do you guys get the guys tough like that and get them ready to go? Uh, basically the same thing. I mean, uh, you know, there really isn't much changes between what we were doing then and what we do now. We're big in drilling, drilling basics. You know, we don't throw anything um, funky. We just drill basics and uh, make them work hard. The hard thing with the little guys is especially the mental aspect of it, mental toughness. And that's that's what we're really trying to instill in them. The wrestling will come, but the, uh, staying focused, staying mentally tough is definitely the, um, you know, obviously something that we push. Harry Luster, having an Olympian as a coach, you know, he's the head coach at St. Pete. Having him around, what's it like having Harry around? What's he do for the youth guys? Well, how does he mix high school duties with youth duties with middle school duties? He's mostly at the high school. Uh, you know, we grew up with Harry through North Akron. Uh, you know, that's how that came about as well. He uh, spends a lot more time with the high school. He'll come in, you know, every once in a great while, run an open mat like on a Wednesday or something like that. But for the most part, this year he's been more focused on the high school. Uh, myself, Scott, Brandon, Osborne, me, uh, Minnick, we are all in with the, uh, the youth and middle school guys for the most part. But, you know, Harry runs the Freestyle Greco Pro program all year long, too, which is great. You know, Olympian, two, I think two-time world bronze medalist, Greco Roman wrestler. Can't really get too much better than that around this area, too. And he's great with the kids, too. He's, you know, a really easy-going guy, really easy to get along with. No ego, so, he, you know, we all kind of fit right in. Who's my man, Freddie? Your dad coached at Walsh for over 20 years. 25, 30, how long? How long did your dad teach? 25 years since I was there, since 90, 95. So, yeah, just about 20, 20 22, Where's Freddie? Where's he, my man? He's coaching at St. Pete now. He's assistant. He's, uh, you know, helps Harry out. He runs practices. Right now he's up at, uh, I think, they have a JV tournament, and they have duels up at Menor Lake. So he's either one or two. I want to say he's up at Menor Lake right now. I wanted to come down and watch Alex today, but, you know, with the two high school things going on, two um, events, he just couldn't make it. So. And he's usually, he runs, he's in the youth room, too. He, he stays there. He's there from 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You were the head coach at North Akron. Now you know you're you're with St. B Shamrock Wrestling. Where, where do you foresee yourself? Will you be? Will you follow your son up through? Where does Nate Doherty go from here? Yeah, I always say I got another five, six years of me. Um, you know, by the time he with work and everything else, by the time he hits the high school, I'll probably have to stay back. I'll still I'd still like to be involved in the club level, but high school, you know, with my schedule, it's probably not going to happen. But uh, you know, and at that point, it's probably time to take a step back and, and let someone else handle it anyway. So. Last question. This is the most important question. Best college roommate you ever had. Rate, <laughs> rate your best college roommate. Well, who's your laziest uh, college roommate who uh, disappeared you, periodically? Yeah, you were uh, you were something else though. <laughs> Four who the sleeps the most? Who sleeps the most? I've never seen anyone be able to fall asleep like you. That's for it's sure. incredible. It's yeah. a gift or a disability. Yeah, no kidding. So you know, you're gonna you're gonna kind of abstain from I'm tearing not, me I'm up too bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna ask any questions about that. So you know, <laughs> still see you guys all the time. So all right, you got anything else for me, Nate? Nah, man. Thanks for doing this and uh, everything you guys do for uh, promoting the sport.